Mike, when I was in university, I took a class called Natural History, and it was probably one of my favorite electives. I took the same course. Natural History is the study of organisms like animals, fungi, and plants. Exactly, but did you know that according to the BBC, there could be up to 8.7 million different species on Earth, and it's thought that 80% are still undiscovered. Well, that's pretty exciting, but also frustrating because it could probably take like hundreds or thousands of years to discover them and then document all of them. Well, maybe we shouldn't help out with this process. And how do we do that? With a brand new segment called Animal Class, where we'll travel to different zoos, farms, aquariums, pretty much anywhere that we can meet different animals. In the first installment, I travel to the Toronto Zoo to learn more about the two-toed sloth. Welcome to Animal Class. If I were to ask you how many toes a two-toed sloth has, you might be surprised by the answer. I'm here with Bob the Sloth and Andy Cockburn, zookeeper here at the Toronto Zoo. So before we get started on some of the characteristics of the sloth, can you Explain to us what's with the misleading name. Yeah, so the cool thing about sloths is actually, he's called a two-toed sloth, but he's actually got three toes and two fingers. Whereas a three-toed sloth would have three fingers and three toes. And one of the most interesting things we're looking at with the hands is that they've got big leathery palms that are kind of narrow. Yeah, definitely. So uh, those leather palms, they sort of help them grip onto trees and those nice long claws help them hang on. And these guys have a really cool adaptation. Their hands actually work opposite to ours. So when you relax, your hand is in sort of an open position. Whereas when these guys relax, their tendons contract. So their hands and feet cup down. So to hang upside down like this takes no energy at all. So where, where's their native habitat? Where would you typically find these in the world? So sloths in general can be found all throughout Central and South America, mm -hmm. but the Linnaeus is two-toed sloth, which is what Bob is. These guys are strictly South America. So you can find them all throughout the Amazon. And so sloths are typically, uh, you'd call them lazier animals. How, how much time do they spend sleeping a day? So Bob here sleeps about 18 hours a day. So to have him awake right now and actually moving, we're actually pretty lucky. How much does he weigh? It's about seven kilos, so about 15 pounds. But these guys only poop about once a week. And when they do, it's about 30% of their body weight. So he can go anywhere from 10 pounds to 15, depending on when the last time he went to the bathroom was. From feet to head, he's over a meter in length. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah, he's right now he's curled up and all four of his limbs are just clinging onto this, uh, this tree here. And he looks like he'd only be like maybe half that, but outstretched, he, uh, he really gains a lot of size. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, He's thin and he's very, very flexible. So tucking into a ball like this is a great way to uh, camouflage in the wild and it helps protect him from predators. And their fur is really soft. You explained it as almost like our hair when we get step out of the ocean. It almost feels salty and that's part of another adaptation. Right now, Bob's really, really clean. He's sort of brown and, and gray. But uh, if you saw them in the wild, they'd be completely covered in moss and algae. He'd be green and, and black and all of his hair would be sort of dreadlocked together in tight clumps and he'd be covered in insects. There's actually a species of moth called a sloth moth that will only lay their eggs on the backs of sloths. So they're friendly animals, they've got friends always. <laughs> De definitely, it's a full little ecosystem on his back. Yeah. Is there anything else about the uh, two-toed sloth that we should know? Actually, one cool thing about these guys is they, they don't have a great sense of eyesight. That's right. But they've got a phenomenal sense of smell. So when they are out looking for food, they're sniffing around. You can see he's got a really, really large nose here. Sort of looks like a, a giant dog nose. Mm -hmm. And he'll use that to sniff out any food or vegetation that he might like to eat. Well, thank you so much for uh, introducing us to Bob. No problem. I'm glad you could meet him. Bob the Sloth. I can't believe his poops weigh a third of his body weight. That's fascinating and that they can live up to 30 years, especially when they're well taken care of, like Bob. I'm jealous of how much sleep he gets, but sleeping hanging from a tree, that's not for me. Yeah, right. I've seen you fall asleep in that chair in this studio. I was just resting my eyes, Mike. If you at home enjoyed this segment and would like to suggest other animals for us to feature on the program, email us at thisweek@ami.ca, and either myself or one of our other presenters from across the country will do our best to make it happen.